All right, so from the Daily Wire, the White House press briefing room erupted on Monday after a reporter from an Africa-focused outlet accused Press Secretary Karine, I'm sorry, Karen Jean Pear, I can't believe I almost said it correctly, of making a mockery of the First Amendment. Jean Pear stepped to the briefing room podium, followed by the cast of the Apple TV series Ted Lasso, who was visiting the White House to meet with President Joe Biden about mental health awareness. Soon after taking the stage, Jean Pear was pelted with accusations of discrimination from Today News Africa correspondent Simon uh, Atiba. Jean Pear, uh, Jean Pear tried to hush the reporter, saying, we're not doing this. She told him repeatedly, but he kept pressing. I think we have that footage. Let's watch that. Yeah, right. You're right. You're here for me. Right for me. No, 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 no. No, that's not. We're not doing this. We're not doing this. We're not doing this. We're not doing this. From across the room, you've been discriminating against me and discriminating against some people in the briefing room. And I'm saying that this is the U.S. This is not China. This is not Russia. This is not Russia. Okay. What you are doing, you are making a mockery of the first American. The quorum, please. The quorum, please. It's been seven months. You've not called on me. The quorum, please. You've my messages. I'm saying that that's not right. That's not right. Fun times. Welcome, guys. Welcome. Welcome to the press briefing room. Okay. This is not right. Let it go. Are we ready? Are we going to behave? While many folks... All right, so he's apparent. I guess he's upset that he hasn't been... Uh, I don't know all the... Yes, we apologize. Yes, I apologize. Okay, we can stop. I don't know all the details behind his particular gripe, but apparently, from what I could tell, he's upset that he hasn't been called on in seven months, which seems fair to me. I mean, you've been sitting there for seven months, and they won't ask you a question. Uh... So I'm on his side. I'm well. I'm automatically on his side because he's uh, because he's annoying Karen Jean Pear. So like, automatically, I sympathize with him, no matter what his gripe is. Um, and I especially sympathize because this uh, White House is a total joke and a farce and an embarrassment to us all, and which is evidenced by that image of uh, you know the White House press briefing and the cast of Ted Lasso is standing in the background at a white. With everything going on in the world, the, even this White House, I mean, what, they, they tell us all the time that I mean, we're, we're facing a, a crisis from all these different directions. The world's about to end because of climate change. Russia is on the verge of taking over the world. I mean, this is what they tell us. And you have time to bring in the cast of Ted Lasso at the White House? And they're there to advocate for mental health? Why would... Why are they experts on mental health? What, because they make a TV show? They make a feel-good TV show? And so that makes them experts on mental health? I mean, these are the people that are all about credentialism, usually. There, there it is, the, the image. So usually it's all it's uh, all we ever hear is credentialism from the left or from Democrats. Well, where, what are your credentials? Well, where did you go to school to become an expert in this? And then they turn to the cast of Ted Lasso to be mental health experts at the White House. I tell you something uh, to these guys. If, if you want, for one thing, if you want to help everyone's mental health, then make a better TV show. How about that? Okay, your TV show is So that, that hurts my mental health. I tried to watch Ted Lasso, and it, it deeply damaged my mental health because the show was terrible. And it was, and, and it was made even worse because it made me lose faith in humanity just a little bit more because all of these people were saying, you got to watch Ted Lasso. It's a great, it's amazing, it's an incredible show. It wasn't just like, oh, it's mildly amusing. People said it was incredible, it's a great show. And so I sat down with my wife and I said, let's, it's everyone saying it's a great show, including people that I used to trust and respect. We sat down to watch it and it was like kind of charming for maybe a total of about 47 minutes of runtime. And then from then on out, it was, it was terrible. And I'm watching it and I, we actually watched, um, I didn't watch every episode, but I saw enough because I'm sitting there like almost like in slack-jawed amazement. It's like, this is, everyone likes this show? This is awful. It's just, it's trite. It's syrupy, corny, like over the top. And then, and then, and then also you get into it's like, it's the, the character motivations don't make any sense. It's one of those shows where they, here's what happened with this show. They have, uh, they had an idea for a skit. It's like, like a kind of amusing skit, um, which would have been, it would have been a good skit for four and a half minutes, but now they're trying to stretch it into multiple seasons of a series. 
and they ran out of material very quickly. And uh, that's how you end up with one of these shows where the, um, you know, some of the characters, they, their personalities change out of nowhere. It's not even character development where there are gradual changes, but just like out of nowhere, they become the opposite of what they were in the last episode because they, the writers just need the characters to do whatever is needed in this particular moment to get through the episode. Um, and they need the characters to assume whatever motivation works for this particular plot line. There isn't, it's not necessarily cohesive with the whole. So it's one of those shows. Anyway, just a, a really a, a, a bad show. And uh, it hurt my own, my mental health suffered because of it. And so if I was in that White House press briefing room, I would want to hold them accountable for that. And that'll do it for this portion of the show as we move over to the members block. Hope to see you there. And uh, if you want to join us there, you can become a member and by using code Walsh at checkout for two months free on all annual plans. Hope to see you there. If not, talk to you tomorrow. Godspeed.